Hey, this is Chuck with BMW Blog, and uh, we've been driving all throughout Texas in this 2014 328D. It's got 180 horsepower and a remarkable 280 foot pounds of torque, pumping out of a 2 liter inline 4 with uh, 16 valves, uh, twin turbocharged, direct fuel injection. Um, and we've been doing nothing but putting miles on it, going from barbecue joint to barbecue joint. And it's returning somewhere between 39 and 41 miles per gallon. And we've really been kicking it while we've been driving. Uh, the combination of the incredible torque and eight speed transmission uh, really, I think, has made this car extremely usable long distance uh, road trip car. And uh, we're about to go sample some more barbecue and go get some more diesel and fuel up and uh, keep on going. And uh, unbelievably, 100 miles south of Dallas, we ran into an ice and snowstorm and had to stop a little bit early because this sucker with the M Sport package is uh, got some summer uh, high performance tires that have absolutely no traction in snow and ice. And I gotta say that uh, remarkably, that you know, the car with electric power steering uh, and on the ice, you can tell that you've actually lost grip. So, but now I drive as uh, standard, and you can see that the menu here uh, looks very much like the uh, classic iDrive thing. The only thing that you're going to miss, obviously, is the navigation settings. The iDrive controller is a, a little bit smaller uh, than than the one with navigation. It, the one with navigation comes with a uh, touch touch uh, top uh, the trip computer and check and see how far you've gone and so far in this uh, case we've gone 1330 miles and our average consumption is about 39 miles per gallon which is pretty good given uh, how uh, we've been driving this thing with a lead foot. This car came with the M4 package uh, which part of that uh, is a fantastic um, steering wheel uh, the M Sport steering wheel and it uh, came with optional paddle shifters uh, upshift downshift um, and it, it it's nicely weighted it's got a good feel to it it's not too big it's not too small uh, you've got all the the things you need here to be able to make a phone call to increase or decrease your volume on the uh, on the radio, you can uh, set cruise control, you can change gears uh, with your fingers. One of the things I love about BMW is you can do everything you need to do without taking your hands off the wheel. It comes with an auto start stop, and the auto start stop um, will not actually function in a diesel until the diesel warms up. Uh, and until the battery uh, is sufficient. So uh, unlike your gasoline powered uh, 320i or 328 i with auto start stop, um, it's going to go off a lot here. When it's cold out, the diesel's not warmed up yet, um, you're going to find that it doesn't shut the car off as much as you would think. M Sport package. Uh, it comes with the 18 inch wheels, uh, which are described in the option package as 400 uh, m. You also get uh, really comfortable uh, sport seats. You get uh, this high gloss black trim. Uh, you get kind of a really cool aerodynamic kit which really sets the car off. Uh, and then you get, um, uh, you know, a, a answer sight or a black headliner. Adaptive M suspension. Uh, and you get uh, four different settings uh, on it. And you get uh, Eco Pro, which is uh, a high mileage, high fuel efficiency uh, setting for the car that uh, it short shifts the car, tries to keep it uh, in a low RPM. It's going to fight you when you're pushing on the gas pedal. Uh, if you go to Comfort, Comfort uh, setting uh, is a little bit more relaxed. It's not the car is not going to fight you uh, when you're trying to accelerate, uh, but you do notice a little bit more float in the suspension. Uh, and if you go to um, the sport uh, configuration, which is one of the ways that I like to drive the car, um, it sets the suspension a little bit more uh, sport oriented. Uh, it stiffens it up a little bit, tightens the uh, steering up a little bit. Uh, the one thing that it kind of drives uh, me crazy with is that it will um, downshift. If you're running on the freeway at 70 miles an hour, in eighth gear and you touch sport it will drop to seventh so it's ready for uh, you know you to accelerate but um, it isn't going to give you the best fuel mileage so the only way to get around that is to put the uh, put the car in drive and then go over to manual uh, if you want to shift and you want to stay up in eighth for example so this car comes standard with uh, Bluetooth hands-free calling and USB uh, so you can you don't uh, have to pay optional for this uh, iDrive 
Uh, this is the standard non-optional high drive. You can hardwire your phone in, uh, but you cannot really do an iPhone 5 and hook it directly in uh, to a USB. You won't get uh, you, you won't get any functionality out of it unless you use an aux port. Uh, you can, however, get some music out of it if you uh, use this uh, uh, optional dongle that they have that uh, plugs into the U aux in as well as the USB. Uh, and then you have to use a 30-pin adapter so that you can actually get your phone uh, get your phone connected. Uh, and then you can see that uh, up here on the screen that you have your uh, you know. You have access to your uh, playlists. Over the trip, we found that diesel fuel isn't that hard to find. And, given the crazy range of the 328D, you don't need to look for it often. The 328D did have a little more diesel clatter than, at idle than I would have thought, but not intrusively so. Perhaps the biggest revolution with this 328D is that it was downright fun to drive. It made for a great road trip car and never once made me think I was sacrificing anything to get the fuel economy benefits of a diesel.